What is up YouTube Nation? Today we're going to be talking about patch 7.1 which I thought was going to be patch 6.25 but you know things get a little mumbo jumbled in my brain and sometimes you can't really trust my brain but in this sense you must trust it because we're talking about patch 7.1 and they got a new skin which looks like a mass effect gangplank where the splash art looks pretty fucking cool I must say and before we start this video today we're going to be sponsored by liquid sky basically it's a cloud based gaming computer that you can use anywhere from any device like your android or computer you can play games at 60 fps and 1080p and use really fast internet I just ran a test and got a thousand mbps these cloud computers are super powerful and i've tried league on it and if you have an okay computer and want to turn it into an ultimate gaming pc you can try liquid sky today and there will be a link in the description below anyways with all that being said let's get started all right look at this skin you know how i feel about skins i don't feel like they're worth my money because i can get them free on the pbe but this skin oh uh to be honest, I only care about the splash art. I think the splash art looks fucking cool. The skin itself though, new sound effects, new animations, but the same old dances you can get with the normal GP, which is what I love. Oh yeah, stroke that shit, motherfucking bitch. You looking fucking sexy today, you sly dog, you. Mm-hmm, definitely the best skin coming out in this patch. Next up, Jingle Bells on my ass is gonna be Draven. Now, as you can see, he's getting massive buffs in this patch. He's probably gonna be super strong in this patch, I think. Hmm. As you can see, he's getting plus 30 to 50 on hit damage on his Q. Like, think about it, that's on hit damage. And he still has his bonus AD ratio. So like, hey man, even if he goes zero and 10 as Draven, you're still gonna hit hella hard. And I'm pretty sure if you get a certain amount of AD, you're gonna do more damage with their Q than it did in the last patch. So like, say you have, I don't know, plus 500 bonus AD, you'll probably do a lot more damage, disregarding the flat bonus damage you get already. So yeah, I don't know. Just seems like he's gonna be a late game monster and it's gonna kick everyone's ass. And maybe also, you don't have to build crit on him, you can just build, you know, just AD straight up. And boy oh boy, look at those mana cost buffs. Wow, as someone who likes to play Draven for shits and giggles, something I hated about Draven was going oom all the time, but with this buff, oh my god, can you believe it? It looks like I don't have to use the Manamine Draven build anymore, which is not a thing by the way, but yeah, holy shit, I actually think he's gonna be like an OP champion this patch. Maybe like, ban him every game or you're gonna get an auto loss. Like, I don't know, we'll just have to see how strong he'll be in the next patch. Maybe like plus 3% increase on the win rate? Maybe a little bit more? I could definitely see him being a really OP champ in the next patch, so maybe like, even like 7% or something. Next up is gonna be Callista. So I found this really interesting where her E now is basically like it was before. If you execute a minion, you get your mana back, but now your passive doesn't deactivate when your E is on cooldown, and I never knew that was a thing, so I guess that's kind of cool. But honestly, these changes, they just feel very minimal. They don't feel that great. I think she needs a little bit more before she can become meta again. This obviously makes her laning phase what it used to be and, you know, pretty good. But like, a lot of things have changed since then. I'm pretty sure crit is like a big thing on AD carries right now. Who knows if going like Boric and Bloodthirster with like Fervor is going to make her stronger than other crit AD carries. But yeah, she needs more. She's in a rather big slump right now, I'd say. So let's just go with a 1.3% increase on the win rate. Next up is going to be Kennen. So his ultimate is being changed quite a bit. Base damage going down, AP ratio going down, but you actually do more damage for each successive lightning bolt you hit on a person, and there's no more penalty for hitting the same person twice. And what they said with this nerf is he actually does the same amount of damage if they stay in the storm for that amount of time, but honestly, like, why the f- why, like, Was Kennen that OP? I don't think he was. Protobelt was nerfed. Um... I saw him a little bit, but like he wasn't borderline super strong or anything, so this is a weird nerf for him. There's also no compensation buffs either, so I'm just like, question mark? Hmm. Either way, let's go with the minus 1.5% on his win rate after this patch. Next up, one of the interesting nerfs of this patch is going to be Lee Sin's ultimate damage has been lowered by 50, and then 100, and then 150. So, for the early game, I'm like, okay. You know, it's just like the Vialt nerf they had a while ago, like a long time ago. And all you have to do is like one more auto and that's about it. But like his early game is his strongest point. His mid game and late game aren't the strongest, but like what the fuck? Why? No one cares about his mid game, late game damage. And it's like 100 and 150 gone. That's uh, that's a lot. I mean, his ultimate is just for utility, but 
still, I don't know. Hmm. Like, I like the early game nerf, but the mid game, late game alt nerf, that feels a little bit more than needed, but, uh, let's just say he's gonna be going down by 1.3%. Next up is gonna be Lucian. So Lucian, hmm, he's getting a passive buff. Like, the first part looks kind of confusing, but basically, just think 40% level 1, and then at level 13, he gets a 60% increase on his damage, instead of it increasing at level 16, so he gets that mid-game power spike a little bit earlier. And again, they are also increasing his laning phase, as you can see, Q damage going up, as well as his passive going up. And yeah, it looks like he's gonna be Pretty interesting in the next- actually, that's a lie. That's a lie. I think these buffs aren't enough. They're just like, hey, you know, try this champion out. He looks good right now, but like, he ain't no Twitch or Jin or anything. Also, no more armor penetration builds, so like, just remember the nerfs they had prior to these buffs because these buffs aren't enough. Let's be honest here. So I don't think he'll be a meta champion, but I think his win rate will go up by like 1.4%. Next up in this patch, Poppy is gonna be getting a nerf. A pretty, hmm, small one kind of, but ooh, her passive going down to 3 seconds instead of 5 seconds, and now her uncharged R does 50% less damage if she doesn't fully charge it up, hmm, hmm, that's, uh, that's gonna be hitting her where it hurts. But like, the 3 second duration on her passive feels kind of big, I mean... First of all, the shield itself is actually a huge shield, and so I feel like she won't be getting the full usage of it anymore. So like, that's a definite hit to her. And yeah, 50% less damage on her R. That sucks because I feel like the uncharged part is the most used part of it, not the like fully charged where you knock them away. And even then, you're not going to be killing them, you're just like knocking them away from you. So it's like, oh, that's cool. No more damage for me. Yay! But like, yeah. I guess minus 1.5% is good for her win rate dropping, that's what I think. And next up, Rise is getting a nerf, as you can see bonus movement speed going down by 10% at the last level, and his shield is weaker. So just small nerfs, again, like a small percentage drop in his win rate. Not a big one, but it's... Okay, I'd, I'll be honest here, I don't really know Rise too much. He'll probably still be in the meta, but like there's gonna be better champions, like Ziggs or Malzahar or something that people could play instead. I think some people will still play him, but like, why play him when there's better mid lane champions? So yeah, that's that's it for him. Next up is gonna be Shivana, a champion who dominates low elo. No one uses her in high elo and, you know, she's not that good, but apparently she is dominating low elo, so they're removing her 20% more damage to monsters, which is okay. Sucks for early game clears, but like, yeah, she had like a big, big win rate, but like this nerf is a little bit weird to me because there's champions like Vi, Ivor, and Hecarim who are much better than her. Oh no, this is a weird nerf to me. I feel like they should be nerfing Hecarim or something, but let's be honest here, if they nerf Hecarim, I'll probably be Diamond just like the rest of you guys. And now the long-awaited nerf you've all been waiting for, Syndra. Jesus Christ, look what's happening to her. Her level 5 W now does true damage, but she can't grab additional spheres anymore. Her WAP ratio, her WAP ratio has been lowered by 10%. The damage has been lowered by 10, just 10, but her ultimate cooldown... Ooh, 20 seconds less to level 6. That's kind of big, I'd say. And after these nerfs happening, I'm going to call them nerfs because I feel like it is, I feel like her win rate will go down by 2.5%. The biggest one is going to be her cooldown on her ultimate at earlier levels because, I mean, 20 seconds less, that means you gotta wait a little bit longer till you can have kill pressure on your enemy or get that kill that you could have gotten but, you know, 20 seconds hasn't gone up. And secondly, you won't have as much damage on your ultimate anymore after level 12 because your W doesn't pick up an additional two balls anymore as well as your E hitting less people since you don't have as much spheres on the ground anymore so like overall this champion may go down into the negative win rates but yeah 2.5% I think is a good number next up we're gonna be talking about Talon but what's there to talk about he's getting very minor buffs on his mana regen and his healing on his Q is going up by like two and then plus one per level like I don't think this is the problem with him, I don't know. He needs a bigger buff to come into meta, but right now he's just like a pretty bad champion, although very fun. On PvE server, I saw him shitting on people, I don't know what they did. I feel like they didn't even do anything, but maybe it's my perspective of him being super OP on the PvE server, just cause you know, I was like a good player, but obviously, statistics don't lie, and he's kind of in a bad place right now. And finally, the last change we're going to be talking about is going to be ZZ Rot Portal, which is getting 30 seconds less on uh, the duration and cooldown. Um, I'm not really an avid user of this item, so I feel like 
I can't even say if it's a nerf or buff, but apparently it is a nerf in like pushing terms, I guess, because you set it up somewhere and then it starts pushing, but like if they kill it, then it. I, oh. This change is confusing. I don't, I can't tell if it's a buff or nerf. I'm pretty sure it's a nerf though. Anyways, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did like this video, make sure to leave a like. And if you didn't, make sure to subscribe. Anyways, I am Panzer Dragon, and I'll see you guys next time.